that creeped me out i can't that's oh okay we're all gonna look at it that creeped me out that creeped me i'm not gonna look at it i'm so that it's actually deniable okay do not come here to deal yeah hole is breathing I repeat, yeah, he only is bracket. It is not said if he hear he. I must define a new eat spot. It knows I'm here. What is that? It doesn't even look like a human. Okay, okay, okay. Um, HS, all right, employee number 36. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Wow, working the weekend. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. I'm glad that you'll acknowledge it, but like, where's the money? Where's the extra coupons? All right, guys, here's our coupon for the day. What do we get? Tamed River. Five hundred and forty nine dollars for a mushroom. What? All right, congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has rewarded today's daily coupon. Tamed river root plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. This river root is a reliable as they come. Their, gen their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. Okay, guys, all right, you guys, you got the code? Got the code? Root 10 for you. Wow, thanks. All right, let's just get to work. The hole, the hole, hmm. We haven't seen the hole ourselves like in person yet. Do we live in the home? home safety hotline? Clocking. Are you gonna say something weird? Hello, Supervisor Carol here. Dying. Site accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. What? Thine accuracy continues to impress those us above and below the soil? Are you talking about hell? You said hell right here. Right at the beginning, you said hell. You guys from hell? Is this what? Soap Sprite. Ooh, creepy. That's why I use liquid soap. Whoa, that's actually scary. A rain nymph. That's terrifying. Sprig tree. Oh no! Sprig vines. That's not bad. The tree just looks like someone sitting in the corner. Hello. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cult oh things my gosh. these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap I assume but tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property property okay first off if you assume, how do you know a classic Satanist thing if you're just assuming? You know, you gotta have the knowledge, all right? Knowledge is good. It's a sprig tree. Literally the first thing I read today, or the second thing I read today. It's a sprig tree, it's a sprig tree. Oh, I hate it! Go away! Covering it for strength. Sprig trees are rapidly growing tree, like organism that takes root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home. As they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days, they are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected, and it will result in de death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it's growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There's no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individuals should be quarantined while any other- Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, black substance. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstances. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral services needed. Oh, you're not going to offer a memory wisp or whatever? Dang, the second thing I read. That's freaking creepy. You got a spring tree. 
R.I.P. to that son. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, a trash gnome! Isn't that just a raccoon? Where is it? Is that it? That is ears or its eyes? Mmm. Frog eyes. Oh, that is its eyes. Weird. What else we got? Mmm. False flower. That's pretty. Oh, I see. Is it like doing like a little, like a oh pose? I think I see it. It's doing like a little. Oh, hello. Good morning or good evening, Robert. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever. But the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Sounds like a hub. Please hold. So I can get some sleep. Uh, kitchen animation. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, I hate it. I hate it. Closet labyrinth. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. Okay, no, 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 no. Dreamweaver. Whoa. Oh, weird. That's cool looking, though. Okay, house. Mm, a cobalt? Wait a minute, isn't that the red dragon thing? It looks like a doggy. Mm. Okay, so kitchen someone's in his kitchen just cleaning things that's like normal hob stuff um let's see common hob uh did they go in the kitchen common hob household real upset small burglars and no face and no fur mm. fun and dishes generally only come at night hobs cannot leave i think he just has a common hob like, are we just going back to our roots here? A common hop seems like the best thing. Right? Noises. Uh, it still seems to be happening. Told you guys that was happening. Short story that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, you should check and then when it looks spotless. Mm. So, I think it is... Mm, I don't know. You have- you just have a- a common hob. I'm- I'm actually like- We haven't picked a common hob in a while, so maybe it's just like- This is like our big old Taking us back that we could still do these. Cause so far we've been getting a lot of like, more complex guys. It's a Nestaku hob. <laughs> if only, I'll just eat everything. Hello! Good morning, evening, afternoon! Pamela? Yes, hi. I'm- recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services and not a week later i'm still getting break-ins as i mentioned prior someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing they could be some insane serial killer for all we know all they do is sing at night but no one in my family feels safe anymore none of your stupid security alarms even went off okay all right, please hold please singing hold. at night. That's new. Okay, so breaking in the greenhouse, singing. Is it? Um, mm, man, I have no idea. Breaking in at night, singing, singing. Night wisp. Let's read about this. Uh, night whistle stuff so you should whisper my bright floating lights there no hover nope. Nope, nope, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm. it's not a night nymph or gnome. It's not a no No, is it a cobalt? Do cobalts do you guys sing? To never a wow. Five, they're five foot tall. Jeez. 
Uh, dog like faces that are known to burrow in dark rooms, storage closets, and make their homes. Uh, broken floorboards. No, we need singing. Dude, we have not house fires. It's so weird that house fires is an option. Uh, there's something. It's really, really hot. <laughs> I wonder if they did it just to like be normal and then like mix in all the like the really, really messed up stuff. Rose bushes do not sing. No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Okay. False flower. I think it's a false flower. False flowers are long, slender-like creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, some homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, will often lash out by spraying toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Isn't that the same thing? Maybe it's like loss of like, like full 2020. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they have taken root. Water regularly, try not to notice their presence, ignore their singing. Dang, Pamela, there ain't not much I can tell you. You gotta maybe move, moving, moving can help, you know, but it looks like you got a new friend. Maybe teach her some songs that you like, you know? Enjoy it. Maybe she'll learn you some Lady Gaga, you know, season two of that Fortnite jam just came out. I thought it was gonna be Whistling Fun Guy for a second, but no, Whistling's totally different. Hello? Good morning, good evening, good night! Welcome to Home Safety Hotline! Hey, Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. You know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. I can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Slipper? Whoa, didn't, doesn't that sound like the freaking, hold on, doesn't that, whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, 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 where's the rose bush? That sounded like the- No! I need to hear what the rose bush sounds before I forget! Please, let me look! Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular, disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. You sent a bush at him. A blight upon the you sent a rose bush at them. You did. You did you lady. Let me hear. Let me hear. I think I think I think I think I think she sent a rose bush. I'm just gonna say I think she sent a rose bush. with these calls oh maybe maybe this is like the ringtone for like when our internet's bad let's see andy there's some kind of insect in my house and i, I think it may have died uh, i saw this big nasty thing fly in through the window and i haven't been able to find it anywhere but i, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because i can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house Please, Please don't home. tell me the internet's gone. No, I have no idea what this is. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. This is the worst thing ever. All right, all right, all right. We got it. We got it. Okay, okay, okay. We got to pay attention. We got to pay attention. Burning scent. Is that something fly in? Big nasty thing fly in and then burning scent. Cockroach? Dude, I don't know. This must be like a new thing. Housefly? 
It was giant, though. He said big and nasty. Oh, man. Uh, big and nasty fly in. I don't know. Something that's burning? We haven't heard- I haven't- There's nothing that I freaking have heard that's burning. You got a house fire? I'm about to put in house fire. Cause I- Lamp Sprite! Ooh, maybe Lamp Sprite! Big nasty thing. I'm gonna guess Lamp Sprite! Because it makes the closest amount of scent for me. Scent? Sense. I think- I think it's- Ooh, I don't know. I- but I- I don't know. I don't know anything about burning. We're gonna read it, like, literally right after and see what I got. Alright, so my answer. Lamp Sprite! Locking it in, Steve! Locking it in! Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Lamp sprite. Lock it in. Good answer. Good answer. Hope you don't die. Can I have my internet back now? I've been nice. I've been good. I've been good. Give me. Come on. Give me internet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where, where's my ethernet cord? Come on. Let me. Let me just get some internet. Come on. Just a little bit of internet. Here we go. Tendrils. I think I know what that is already. I think. I think. Please hold. All right. Let me see. Lamp sprite. Lamp sprite. Lamp sprite. Yes. Has to be. Has to be. Has to be. Burning smell in the home. Yeah. Sprites are that make their homes inside. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Shoot. That's why. Uh, okay. 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 All right, all right, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's got. Woo, I'm all riled up for no reason. He's got. Um... Where was it? Okay, I have to like go through it, or I'm gonna go crazy. Uh, it's like that little tendril thing that came out of the little doll. Where did that go? No, it's not Dreamweaver. Did I pass it? I missed it. Okay. Alright, alright. I see where I'm at. Wood secretions. No, it's not wine sprite. What? What's it called? Sprig vines. Sprig vines? No. Frick. It's not a tea sprite. Also, we haven't gotten any calls about a tea sprite. Um, seedling? No, it wasn't seedling. Rain nymph, no. Raccoon, no. <laughs> Imagine it was a raccoon. My raccoon took my kid! Floor roots! Floor roots! Floor roots are brown, uh, grow upwards from the floor. Right. Took her with it. Took her with it, so I guess on the floor. Wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware of human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are known to sh they are known they are a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be priority in the family's house. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth, so it is advised to acquire dolls or a similar human shaped face smile. Face simile? What? Face simile. Fact simile? Whatever. To give them a safer alternative, place dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for ni for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhabit. I think she's got floor roots. It wrapped the tendrils around. We don't got much about tendrils and took her down with it. And like, you can see it in the floor right there. Dang. I think that's it. You got floor roots. Locking it in. I'm on fire today. I feel so confident. Floor roots. Locking it in. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. Man, I'm doing good. Man, I am doing good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I am solid on this. I am so confident that I'm going to be doing so good. Hello? I'm ready to solve your problem. Let's go. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back, please. 
please hold. What? Is this the mirror again? Is this the is this the mirror one where like they don't recognize themselves anymore? Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymphs that are known for stealing likeness. The likeness of flowers are passed by. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless. Humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beck uh, they beckon another to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs constantly report not being able to recognize their own face. Ooh, would that be it? Mirror nymphs uh, will wander to different locations, provided nobody looks into the mirrors. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. It could be Mirror Nymph. I don't think it's Memory Wisp. We've dealt with a Memory Wisp before. Um. Okay. Uh, that's an ability to remember the loved ones. So I think we got a Mirror Nymph here. Can't see myself. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. So I think that's it. There's nothing else that really that does that, right? There's nothing else that really takes away. Dreamweaver? Dreamweavers are large who are known to weave dreams into reality. They're also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household with no other spiders are present. Well, I'm safe because I got wolf spiders every freaking night! While this does not cause any direct harm to humans, it can lead to increased anxiety. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think we're already set. Dude, I'm having the mem- the, my memory is so big right now. Being able to remember this mirror nymph. You got a mirror nymph, and I'm so positive. You don't understand, I'm doing so good. I'm so good, I'm so good at this freaking game. Hello, who is it? Ramona. <laughs> homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, yes. metal scrap, and I other such nasty is. things I on my living room carpet. I, I have is. children in this house, and this I'm is a so very lucky. serious you hazard to their you. health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume I that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Yes, I will, I will, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Ramona. Thank Please you. Hold. Thank you. I know what it is. Immediately. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You have. Where is it? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Where is it? Where the frick is it? It's uh. Wait, where is it? The horde. You have the horde. There it is. There it is. Let's read about this horde. Let's see. The horde is an invisible. Odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. The horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make it prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. So this thing is invisible just crawling around? That is awful. Alright. Um, once introduced to a home, the horde will continue to gather though and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the horde from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in the process. Wow, so you get a hob from it? They like tie monsters with monsters and I think that's so cool uh, when they do that in their solutions. Alright, we got the horde. Look at that. I'm so freaking locked in. I better get 100% at the end of this night. Please. I'm so confident that today went so well. I got more calls? This day went on long, no? Mm, soap Sprite seems fun. <laughs> Okay, what? Hello? Maple! Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. I think I know what it is. He didn't talk about the other hint about it. Please, he didn't talk about the other hint on it. 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's the one that like lights up and like tells you, oh, you're gonna be so rich. You're gonna be so. Here we go. Uh, yep. Night wisps are subspecies of wisps that form bright floating lights. Here we go. We got flashlights. Flashlights with these bright lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to the whispers and following their directions. Night wisps will move to one another's home in a week or so if they are ignored cons consistently. It's wise to drown out their whispers with music or wearing sleeping masks to prevent the sleep disruption. I think that's it. That is so it. You know what? I'm not even gonna look at anything else. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna even test it because I know I'm right. Please give me that 100%. Please! I am so good at this game! Give me a challenge mode! It's still going. This day is still going. This is the longest day of my life. Oh! That was quick at least. Hello! Good morning, good evening, good night! Hey, uh, so. I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, I think. I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. I think I know where it is. Please hold. I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Where is it? Where is it? Portal. Where's the portal? Portal. She's got a portal? I think she's got a portal. Door, right? Uh, drafts. There we go. Portals are door shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners. Uh, discovered mostly commonly in basements or underground cellars, homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. I am so good right now. I am just... Alright, let's keep going. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as to not allow anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize HSH's home security services to ensure portals are sealed safely. Ma'am, do not go through it because- Wait, what does it say if you go through it? I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, why don't you go through it? Wait, it doesn't really talk about like, if you walk- Is it just a portal? Is it actually just a portal to another location like there's nothing wrong with it? What if, like, someone decides to, like, enter your home, you know? Like, what if someone from that side of the portal is like, Oh, man, look at this nice house! Ooh, I want to live here! And they just go in and live in it. You got a portal. Enjoy safety. Hello. Good morning, good evening, good night, Jules. This might, like, like the vape? sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like... I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, Guess what? nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like under, you know, like that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still got to hiding in here okay so it's got tendrils right the little squid thing got little ten tentacles please hold isn't that the soap thing let's see soap sprite so sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes they frequently occupy bathrooms appearing uh to similar pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them they secrete suds, like substances that are used to digest their meals. Soap sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them, making them serious household hazard. Soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose by the by way of tongs or other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult, so it's recommended not to keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure that they can be identified and removed as, po uh, as soon as possible. Oh. Hmm. Okay, squid like something. Went to bathroom middle of the night, and I could see something slithering under near the sink. Tendrils, but whatever, turn the lights and nothing was there. I checked under the towel. Like under, you know, that little like that little soap thing. What? 
and everything, but I know it's there somewhere. It's too big to go down the drain. So is it the soap spray? Toilet hub? Um, no, no tentacles. Let's see, wispy hair. Like most hobs, they tend to clean homes. Mmm. School parents within the toilet and have having problems. Uh, no, I don't think it's toilet hob. I think it's actually soap sprite. Now I'm actually not confident. Now I'm actually nervous. Pipe hob? No, I'm making homes. But no. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I think he's got a soap sprite. I think it's actually just a soap sprite. Locking it in. You, sir, have an evil little soap guy who wants to suck you up and give you diseases. Hopefully. Ooh, I'm not confident anymore. I wish I was confident. Is it still going? <gasps> Ain't no freaking way! Let's go! Oh my gosh, that confidence. How, you know what? I'm going to pull up the guy just to see how many people that was. Because that was insane. That was an insane amount of people. Alright, let's see. Uh, we did... Was it... Uh, yeah, it was. Okay, ready? Listen to this. We did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was 10 customers. They're definitely like increasing it day by day. Oh, this is so much fun. I actually cannot wait for me to beat this game. It's actually really, really freaking fun. And the accuracy. Mm -hmm. On point. Oh, logging in. All right, log in and log out. Human DNA confirmed. What? All right, we will leave it here. I'm going to look at that next time because I always forget um, if I watched it or not. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was so good. That was such a good run. Only perfect.